welcome back to Franchise Football, everyone. I'm your host, Husker Eurocat, and today the Falcons face their rivals to the West, the New Orleans Saints. Admittedly, the Saints have not played up to their potential this season so far, but I would have to think this is still going to be another great game. Although Gardner Minshew has been trying his best to lead his team to victory, he's not having just a lot of success. Having a back like Alvin Kamara helps enormously though. I don't feel that he can be stopped, but if he can be contained, the Falcons may have a real shot at getting win number two in a row. Let's find out as we take you to the field in Caesars Superdome here on the MMC Broadcasting Network. Marquez Callaway is deep and Youngway Koo gets us underway. Callaway fields us at the goal line and out to the 20 yard line before he's stopped. They mark him at the 21. Alvin Kamara takes it out to the left and he gets a few before he is stopped. You see last week's production, 15 carries, 111 yards and two touchdowns. Hoping to have the same effect this week. Michael Thomas hauls in that pass and it's a first down past the 40 yard line. Kamara up the middle and he gets to the 46 yard line. Second and six has big yardage into Atlanta territory at the 45. Now third and six. The pass is incomplete over the middle. That brings out Will Lutz for a 57 yard field goal and off to the right. It had the distance just not the accuracy. Now Ryan over the middle to Gage, and that is into Saint territory. So third and three now. Pass over the middle, and it's caught. Hayden Hurst gets the first down. Ryan drops back again, completes this one over the middle to Calvin Ridley. Now on second and three. Up the middle goes Puka Williams. He has the first down inside the 20. So a red zone visit for the Falcons. And that pass is almost intercepted by C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Love with a four yard gain. And now on third and six. Ryan passes complete to Love, but he doesn't even come close to the sticks. Demario Davis making the play. Young Wei Koo comes out for a 31 yard field goal and it's up and through. Three to nothing, the Falcons take the early lead. After a Saint three and out, Brian Hill takes it up the middle, out past the 20 to the 22. Second and five, oh, the pass complete on the left side to Hayden Hurst. And out of bounds, all the way out at the 48 yard line, which brings us to the end of quarter number one. Now second and eight, the pass over the middle to Hurst, tackled at the 44 yard line. Third and two, again to Hurst, he has the first down, spins his way to the 35. Brian Hill, the deep back, and he gets the handoff and is taken down in the backfield by Lattimore. And that will bring up second and 13. Ryan out of the shotgun, throws out of the backfield to Hill. He's out of bounds at the 35. Again, a pass to Ridley, and he has the first down at the 25 yard line. Allison in motion, the fake pass, and it goes to Hill again. First down, out of bounds at the 11. Gage is alone way at the top of your screen. The pass to, wait a minute. That was left tackle drawn Christian catching the ball. 
And now from the four, Ryan throws into the end zone and right in the hands of Demario Davis. And he's all the way out to, I believe it's the 18. But Ryan couldn't have seen him there because he was standing right there trying to get the ball into the end zone to Ridley and Davis was just sitting there waiting for the ball. So that ends the Falcons drive and from second and seven, Camara tough running and he picks up almost the first down. It's third and one and that is a first down. Dante Harris is out to the 48. Uh, third and nine. The pass goes right and incomplete. Intended again for Harrison, broken up by Fabian Moreau. There you see the numbers on Matt Ryan. 12 of 14 for 101 yards and an interception. The pass is complete out past the 30 yard line. Calvin Ridley makes the grab on that one. Now on second and seven, Brian Hill going left and getting the first down. That brings us to the two minute warning as the Falcons try to put more points on the board. Ryan over the middle, complete to Calvin Ridley. He's down to the 42 of the Saints. Ken Crawley is being escorted to the locker room for the Saints. We'll have to see what that is all about. Ryan hit as he threw, but that didn't stop Love from making the catch, and he's down to the 35. And are they going to try a field goal from here? Yes, they are. A 53-yard field goal, and it is good. That makes it 6 to nothing. Falcons, and from 32, Minshew throws deep, and it's intercepted. Back up strong safety, TJ Green picks that one off. Minshew trying to make something happen before halftime, throws it deep in into a crowd. And who comes down with it but T.J. Green. So, at halftime, it is six to nothing in favor of the Falcons. Now with a halftime update, let's go to Eurocat Baby. We'll get you back to the defensive battle between the Falcons and Saints, but we need to update you on a couple of games that concern Falcons fans. Over in Raleigh, the Panthers are about to take a seven-point lead into halftime against the Patriots. Both teams sit at 5-3 and three and are fighting to stay on top of their respective divisions. What's amazing is that the Panther defense has been able to hold Christian McCaffrey to just 29 yards in the first half. To the west of us, Atlanta's next opponent, the Cowboys have a nine-point lead on the Broncos heading into halftime and yet another game in which an NFL leading rusher is being held in check. Can Ezekiel Elliott take control of the game in the second half? We'll keep tabs on this game. Meanwhile, here in New Orleans, in a contest that hasn't seen anyone making it to the end zone, will this trend continue or have adjustments been made that will allow one of these teams to score some points? Stay tuned to find out because the second half is coming up next. Welcome back to Caesars Superdome for continued coverage of the Falcons. First game with the Saints this season. Now the Falcons are leading this game, but only by a couple of field goals. They've been able to control New Orleans, allowing less than 80 yards of offense in the first half. But will that hold up? Let's find out. After an Atlanta three and out, the Saints have it at the 17 yard line and Kamara is stopped. Third and nine now. Minshew throws over the middle and it's intercepted. 
Foye Oluokun is taking it back the other way. And that is his third interception of the season. Minshew tried to get it to Thomas, and that just didn't happen. Oluokun jumped in front of that route and started taking it the other way. Now from the 13, Brian Hill takes it inside the 10 and down to the six. That is going to bring up second and three. Handoff again goes to Hill and he is stopped in the backfield. So third and four. Ryan back to pass, throws to Allison, first down at the one yard line. First and goal and trip number three for Atlanta into the red zone. That is touchdown, Hayden Hurst. He caught that just outside the end zone and it didn't look like he was going to get in because Davis was there, looked like he was gonna stop him, but Hurst just powered his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Now after a false start, they are going to go for two. Brian Hill can't even get close to the end zone. Not sure why they tried a run from way out there, but they failed. So it's 12 to nothing. Camara up the middle for a couple and Right guard Cesar Ruiz was down and is on the sideline. Looks to be okay. Camara up the hash mark and he gets away from everybody. He is all alone running the field and into the end zone, but there's a flag on the play. And I think this one, yeah, it's coming back. Holding in that pile of human flesh. And the Saints have to try this one again from the 20. And Thomas makes the catch, but it's still third and eight. Minshew back to pass, and he is sacked. Brandon Copeland gets to him. And now it's fourth and 14. And they have to punt. The Falcons take over inside Saints territory and that one is complete across the middle. Allison getting the first down at the 40. The play action pass and it's complete. Jaden Graham making the grab for about five yards. Third and six. Back to pass, Ryan completes this one and his first down, Bryce Love makes a wonderful cut and makes it past the sticks. Now Brian Hill has a nice gain up the middle, gets to the 23, third and four. The pass complete to Allison, first down at the 15. Atlanta making another red zone trip. And this one, it, oh my goodness. Ryan is hit and dropped for a sack by Akeem Davis Gaither. And that brings us to the end of three with your score 12 to nothing. The Falcons driving, Hurst catching, and on the left side, Numbers gets on to about the 17, so 24 yard field goal by Young Ho Koo, and it is up and good. 15 to nothing. The Falcons have opened up a full two score, or two touchdown lead. Minshew to Kamara out to the 28, second and seven. And Minshew is sacked. Everson Griffin getting to him, third and 15 now. Out of the shotgun, Minshew throws it deep, 
tipped by Terrell and caught for a 35 yard reception by Harris. So inside Atlanta territory, Kamara takes it inside the 40 yard line and he is down and injured on the sideline receiving a little first aid and uh, putting him through some drills. I think he's gonna be okay though. Minshew out of the backfield, completes this one. Trey Burton catching that one and taking it for a first down inside the 30. Minshew now completes the pass to Latavius Murray, a first down at the 15. A play action pass and there is Fabian Moreau to take Minshew down in the backfield. And now on third and 19, Minshew throws deep and it is incomplete intended for Traquan Smith. Now on fourth and 19, the pass is incomplete intended again for Smith and broken up by Luicon. But the Falcons go three and out and back to the Saints. The ball goes from their own 40. Minshew completes this one short underneath to Thomas. Back again to pass and he goes down in the arms of Brandon Copeland. That is his second sack of the afternoon. Now on fourth and nine. Minshew throws down the left side, incomplete, intended for Thomas and broken up by Kendall Sheffield. Now the Falcons, if they play this right, this can be the ball game. Three, just over three minutes to go. And Puka Williams takes that for six yards. Second and four. Love takes it to the right side numbers and he has the first down. Williams gets caught in the backfield. Josh Bynes takes him down. Out of the shotgun, the pass. Oh, gets deflected and into the hands of Hayden Hurst. He takes it all the way down to the 10. That takes us to the two minute warning. The rest are Atlanta. Kneel downs and that is the end of the football game. 15 to nothing is your score and this has to be the biggest change I've seen in a long while. Last week against the high powered offense of the Panthers, the Falcon defense only allowed three points and today they didn't allow the Saints to score at all. I kind of expected them to control the passing game because Minchu is having a rough time with any kind of consistency this season. However, holding Alvin Kamara to just 37 yards on nine carries is outstanding. You can see the overwhelming dominance of the game just by looking at the time of possession. Almost doubling the time the offenses were on the field should have been enough to tire out the Saints defense to the point that Atlanta should have been able to have their way with New Orleans. But being held to just one end zone trip and the rest field goals is a testament to how the Saints defense can rise to an occasion. It's also a telling sign that Atlanta's offensive attack needs help. Besides Ryan at quarterback and Kalechi Osemele playing right tackle, we're talking about a fairly young squad. Not saying that to be an excuse, but we are talking about an inexperienced group of players. The defense, through some outstanding trades, got some incredible talent. Time will tell what happens with this crew. Right now, however, the defense is definitely carrying this team, and unless something can be done with the offense, it may remain that way for the rest of the season. We can only hope that it'll be enough to carry the Falcons to a postseason appearance, 
but I think that'll be a big order to fill. Atlanta will have an opportunity to prove that they can hang with the big boys when they travel to Dallas to play the Cowboys next week. Not only do they have Ezekiel Elliott, although not having a stellar day today against the Broncos, but Dak Prescott can find receivers downfield as well as any star quarterback in the NFL. He's especially dangerous when he's flushed out of the pocket where he can be a problem. And let's not even get started with the strength of the defense. With guys like Demarcus Lawrence, Leighton Vander Esch, and Keanu Neal, I feel the Falcon offense is going to have another game where getting into the end zone will be a real challenge. That's going to do it for this episode of the Atlanta Falcons franchise on the MMC Broadcasting Network. Atlanta dominated the struggling Saints today and with newly acquired talent on the defensive side of the ball, got a shutout for the first time this season. I just have a feeling that this next week against the Cowboys, (laughs) it's going to be a true test for both the offense and defense. I'm not as concerned about the defense as I am about the underperforming offense. Can they put together a stellar performance? Because that is what it's going to take. See if the Falcons have what it takes. Be with us next week. And until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Huster Eurocat saying so long for now, and have a good day, everyone.